what's up guys it's the king l86 here and i'm back here with another nascar heat 5 career mode video but this time we're racing at pocono speedway for the pocono organics 150 four races until the playoffs we didn't improve last race oh last race was terrible we were up close to the top 10 up in 11th Tapped the apron a little bit, set my truck up the racetrack, hit the wall, and I just went all the way back. Almost caused a few wrecks doing it. Hopefully this race is actually better, even though I'm not a fan of Pocono on this game. Because I'm, uh, I believe it's turn two, top of the triangle, the tricky triangle they call it. So yeah, without, further ado, without any further ado, I'll see you guys at the track after qualifying. All right, so we are at the track here at Pocono. Um, practice didn't go well. You can tell by the lap time and the goal time. They always make it somewhat impossible to even get those goal times here. I found that difficult. I don't know if anybody else does, but if you have, just let me know in the comments if you do. Um, but yeah, uh, qualifying didn't go as well as practice because I turn one, as I was getting in the on the brakes and was turning, the truck decided to just go straight up the track. It didn't even, it never did, never did it rotate. So that kind of stop, that kind of stopped what the qualifying time would be. I start 22nd. That's where I qualified. Gold position is 15th. That's going to be difficult in this race, but we'll see. Hopefully, we can get that. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's switch aboard. Uh, be a pal. Okay, give him boost. Clay Greenfield failed race. Uh, change engine before qualifying, and I did not read the other ones. I didn't know why I didn't do that. The Pocono Organic 250 is underway. I had a good launch off turn one, then would he get a good launch coming? Uh, I did a good launch going out of it, but that kind of stopped by Joe.
Finish 22nd in stage one. We'll start freezing one stage one. So that's that, that what? Uh, looks like nobody's pitting. Because the next stage is only three laps. So might as well stay out for this member of the stage. Hey, continue on. Stage two is underway. And I guarantee I'm going to have a terrible turn one. Swing stuff goes around. I think I caused that one. Yep. Gave him a little bump. I don't know how. I just gave him a little tightness to taps and he just went. So now we're all going to pit. We're going to get it a little bit loose. So I can dive down to the bottom of the track there. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Any luck, I might probably get a top 20, but other than that, I might just stay where I'm at right now in 20 seconds. The final stage is underway. Seems like everybody's pitting, and that's some damage on the front of the truck. Looks like Johnny Sauter went around. But I'm going to stay out, because there's no need for me to come in. So I'm going to be at the front of the pack.
Hey, it's not my fault. You forced your way down in there like that. You forced your way down in there like that. Hey, it's not my fault. Still no, but this will be a NASCAR overtime. So this will be a green, white, checker. And they're spreading apart. I don't know why they're doing that. Stop forcing it down like that. That's what these trucks are doing. I don't know why they're forcing their way down the track like that. Knowing that they can't get away with that. No, I can understand why I'm making rivals now. Oh well. Ninety-five rating. Okay, let's look at that replay. So you, you, as you can see, you start freezing one in the first stage. And he won the second stage. So on back-to-back -back stages for this race. Just basically kind of falling back in this race and people just forcing it into turn two. Set it at the pit here for strategy reasons. Didn't really help me out in any, any way because I got forced down or up the track. that right there could have forced me up into the wall So that's all the replay. 
So by the looks of it, Austin Hill won the race, followed by Ross Chastain in second, Stuart Friesen in third, Todd Gillen in fourth, Ben Rhodes in fifth, Gustine in sixth, Jordan Anderson in seventh, Matt Crafton in eighth, Zane Smith in ninth, and running off the top ten is Kristen Eckes. We still set 13th in the standings. Anyways, Rush just standing the fastest lap with a 54.601. Stuart Friesen led the most laps at 14. Jordan Anderson started 27th, finished 7th. He was on the move. And Johnny Sauter started 2nd and finished 25th because of a wreck that he was involved in. So yeah, I'll meet you guys at the main menu. So out of that race, we earned $10,051. And we got 45 new fans. Oh boy, this is going to be good. It's official. Stanley Hill is in a slump. Hopefully, can Stanley Hill overcome the streak of bad finishes? Who knows? Do we got any messages? Tough race, move on. I understand. At least Tyler Inkerman believes in me here. Okay. I thought I'd see any I thought I'd see more messages than that. The most some of them be actually being angry. We're just in a slump right now, it looks like. Alright. So yeah, the next race we'll be going to is Kentucky Speedway for the Buckle Up In Your Truck 225. So yeah, let's see what the reputations were. Still nothing has really changed. I think I pissed a few people off. Other than that, yeah, looks like on that pretty much. I didn't really gain anything, didn't lose anything off that but our race we didn't finish very well in 21st I think it was 21st yeah 20 oh 22nd 22nd we finished 22nd okay so yeah hopefully the next race we, we race in will actually be better I don't know we'll figure that out there's only three races until the playoffs to figure that out okay I know I only have three races left to actually finish in the top 15. So yeah, that'll do it for today's video. If you liked today's video, make sure to give the video a, th a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, keep calm and hail to the king.